Hi, my name is Jawad Ahmed. Um, I'd like to discuss our paper Liver Transplantation in Patients with Non-Alcoholic Steatohepatitis Hepatitis Related to Hepatocellular Carcinoma that is due to be published later on this year. The reasons for uh, performing the study were really related to the limited information on hepatocellular carcinoma or HCC uh, in patients with NASH cirrhosis. Uh, in fact, the American Association for the Study of uh, Liver Diseases guidelines uh, do not recommend surveying patients with NASH cirrhosis for HCC, ostensibly because there is a lack of information. You would imagine that patients uh, with cirrhosis are all at risk for HCC, but this really depends on the etiology. And in fact, there's been a, a large rise over the last uh, couple of decades really related to viral hepatitis, but there's a significant number of patients where really the, the, the rising incidence of HCC is really unclear. Um, the methodology of the paper really relied on the fact that our center has a very uh, well-categorized database um, and uh, hence the retrospective nature of the study. Uh, we were able to identify 98 patients uh, who had uh, a diagnosis of NASH cirrhosis uh, and importantly these were all patients who had uh, biopsy proven disease uh, either on uh, uh, pre-transplant biopsy or on, on analysis of the explant. We then compared these patients to uh, patients with viral hepatitis, hepatitis C, uh, cholestatic liver disease, uh, or alcoholic liver disease in a two to one ratio. Uh, the real aims of the paper were to uh, identify the incidence of uh, HCC in patients with NASH cirrhosis undergoing liver transplant, um, but also to look at the outcomes. Uh, we found that 17% of patients with NASH cirrhosis had uh, HCC. Uh, this was either diagnosed at the time of transplant or also at the time of analysis of the explant. This compared to patients with hepatitis C and alcoholic liver disease and was significantly higher than patients with cholestatic liver disease as would be expected. Interestingly, a third of the, of the patients with HCC in NASH cirrhosis were only identified on the explant, um, uh, suggesting that uh, the HCC is a uh, part of the natural history of NASH cirrhosis. Uh, and also lends some credence to the thought that you should be surveying these patients uh, for HCC. Um, we noted that the uh, uh, patients with NASH cirrhosis who had HCC tended to be older and also uh, more likely to be male. Uh, and uh, typically NASH cirrhosis is, a, is a more of a diagnosis of females. Um, comparing patients with HCC and NASH cirrhosis to patients with HCC from other, any other cause the patients with NASH cirrhosis typically were older and more likely to have features of the metabolic syndrome, uh, uh, su such as diabetes, hypertension, as well as uh, obesity. Um, however, the outcome after transplant uh, was actually very good, uh, suggesting that patients with NASH cirrhosis who are, are identified with uh, HCC and are within the Milan criteria uh, actually should do very well, despite the advanced age that typically these patients are. So to sum up, essentially the paper uh, and admittedly does have some uh, uh, methodological problems such as the retrospective nature. But it does show that uh, NASH uh, cirr uh, cirrhosis patients who are undergoing liver transplant do have a significant incidence of hepatocellular carcinoma uh, and a significant number will be de detected on explant analysis. Uh, but if these patients can get to transplant uh, and are within the Milan criteria, they actually do very well. Thank you.